This could not have been more highly requested. I am reviewing bum, bum, bum. Hi everyone, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I'm super excited because secretly I still have a people pleaser in me that hasn't healed just yet. Deep down, all I want to do is make you guys happy and you guys have been requesting non-stop for me to also review the Lifen and compare it against my dream hair dryer and that's what I'm gonna do today. I got it! I will jump into it really really soon but since this is new to the channel, I want to introduce it. So of all the different models available on Lifen, I decided to get this one. This one is the Swift SE. I got it in a cute little baby blue. Um, they have it in a bunch of different colours. These like Morandi pastel colours, super super cute. I will show you my first impressions right now. Alright, my first time even turning this on. I would say that's pretty comparable to my dream, although I'm probably gonna have to try it again to see what the results are. Damn. They look very, very similar. Yeah, so we're gonna be testing out the speeds and seeing. Okay, we are relying on feels. Okay, eh? sorry, my bad. Okay, and now the life in. Is it just me or did that seem a little bit more powerful? There was a red light that came out the bag as well. I know! How fun, right? <laughs> I- <laughs> I'm thinking because they are very, very, very similar. Okay, I'm gonna ask um, my partner for a second opinion. I think they might be the same, or if not, the difference is so minimal that it really doesn't make a difference. I agree. Maybe the life is slightly stronger. Right? Slightly. I like the light. <laughs> the light is pretty fun. I'm gonna need your opinion also. <laughs> On this like 57 degree setting, warm enough to help dry your hair but it doesn't burn your scalp which is my preferred setting. Like I always set it at this warm setting. And they recalibrate the, the heat based on the temperature of your head. Both are staying very consistent as you could see. It didn't hurt my scalp, I didn't have to pull it away. And they kind of feel like the same temperature to me also which I feel is quite optimal. <laughs> Feels the exact same to me. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know so. Yeah. I definitely had a very, very good first impression. Because honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, damn. That looks really, really similar to my dream hair glory, right? And the Dyson for that matter, like they both have this long handle, this small little ergonomic like head, the toggle and the button at the back, like it's all very, very similar. They don't just look similar, but I felt like the performance was also very similar as well, which made me very impressed with the Lifen, but also confused and even more intrigued because I want to know exactly what the difference is now. So I think I might have gone a little bit overboard, but I decided to do a bunch of tests and try and see where does each hairdryer perform better, who is better, what should I pick if I had to go back in time and just pick one and help you guys make a better decision. Are the specs a good indication of its performance? So I've made a little table. <laughs> Here it is. So as you can see from these specs, I've really tried my darndest to try and break them down and compare them side by side. But with everything else, I feel like I've done a pretty comprehensive job and I'm able to kind of see the main comparisons and see the main differences on paper and use this as a launching board for my tests. Okay, the first test that I really wanted to conduct is the weight test. First up is Dream without the cord. So I'll just put them to the side here. We're at 370.3 or 0.2. With the cord, we're at 538 grams. Now for the Lifen Swift SE without the cord. The Lifen's at a 405 without the cord. With the cord, 
5.82. Alright, upon conducting the weight test, uh, my evaluation is that the dream is indeed lighter. I would say it's definitely down to personal preference, whether you prefer something a little bit more heavy, a little bit more luxe feeling like the Lifen, or if you would prefer something lighter, more ergonomic and better for your wrists. You can go with the dream. By the way, I have to do a disclaimer. This is like my personal method of weighing them, which might not be the most accurate. I just do what I can with what I have. And I would say both of them are already decently lighter than a lot of traditional hair dryers already. So both of them are a win for me. All right, next up is the sound test. I was also really interested in trying to hear the quality of the wind sound and also the loudness of the wind sound because both of them sound very 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 similar and so I put it to the test okay I downloaded a decibel tracker so that we can get more accurate results first up we have the dream I would say it's like mid to high 75 decibels and in comparison the life in measures around the lower end of the 75 decibels again 75 decibels is pretty great for a hairdryer. It's really down to the decimal point. The dream is only a little bit louder. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys hear the quality for yourselves. This is the dream. And then this is the lifen. Hopefully you can tell the difference. There is a very slight difference, which is that maybe there's more of like a slightly lower like engine sound, but the Lifen definitely has slightly more high pitch, not by much, um, but there's no like engine sound. So it sounds like wind, if that makes sense. That to me is the difference. I don't know if you guys agree. Let me know in the comments below what you guys hear, cause I'm interested to hear it. Test number three the cuteness test, aka the look test. I just want to see how they look next to each other like that. The barrel hit for the Lifen is a little bit smaller and the wand is also a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can see the difference. The buttons on the Lifen are also slightly higher than the Dream. The Lifen has a light ring display and the Dream has the icons lit up. Both cords are also 1.8 meters long and they both have the three pin UK plug. They have different vibes. You know what I mean? They have different vibes. This one gives like young, cute, it's matte, um, they have fun colours. I really like the blue. The Dream definitely looks more luxe. It's got a little bit of gloss, the button is kind of like recessed, and the toggle is less stiff than the Swift. But I also don't know if it's because I've already been using this for three months and I'm like more used to it. Oh yeah, so both of them also have four different temperature modes and two different wind speed modes. And like I said in my previous dream video, I primarily use the 57 degree mode. Funny enough, I actually thought that there were only three modes because there are only three rings of colour. There's also cold mode, hot mode, you get the warm mode that's very very similar to the 57 degree Celsius mode. And I thought that was it, but... I went to read the instruction manual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you press and hold on this button here, it actually brings you to that hot and cold cycling mode. So between the two, you get the same four temperature settings and two speed settings. Fourth test and arguably the most important test is the wind test. So I'm looking at the stats and for the motor, it says that the Dream Hair Glory has 110,000 RPM. I think it's like rotations per minute. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, editing Brenda, but that's what I think it is. And for the Lifen Swift SE, it has 105,000 RPM, so 5,000 less. And I wanted to see if I could tell. Alright, we're gonna begin the wind test right now. How very, very exciting. Right on the edge, we're being very scientific here. Dream is up first. It's against the line. Okay. Time for the Lifen against the line. Ready and. Just me or is Lifen like a lit no? Well, 
from this line to here, look, it looks like Lifon might be a little bit more. It does look a little bit further along. Little bit, huh? Oh my gosh! It seems like my first impressions were pretty spot on. Which brings us to the fifth and the final test. The hair drying test. So I've been using the Lifen for two weeks now and the Dream for three months now. And honestly, when I use them, I don't feel that there's a big difference in the time that it takes for me to dry my entire hair. Both hair dryers manage to do it within five to six minutes. And I also use a warm setting, not a hot setting. And also I have very, very thick hair. So it probably would take you shorter if you used a hot setting and if you had finer hair than me. But I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison because I wanted to see what the big deal is with these negative ions. So the negative ions in the hairdryer are supposed to help with the smoothing effect of the hair and I wanted to see if that was true. Okay, now is time for the drying challenge. I'm gonna split my hair. So I'm gonna be <laughs> wetting it with this spray. Okay. Ready? Go! <laughs> It could be more dry. Some wetness right here. I'm looking at my hair and I do think it looks a little bit smoother. I don't know if I'm tripping. Two minutes and 32 seconds. What do y'all think? So I'm standing here so that the light hits me from the front so you can see how smooth it is. You let me know which one's nicer because I really cannot tell. <laughs> okay, I've reviewed my footage, I've looked at my hair and I've looked at the amount of water that I sprayed on my hair to start the process. I think I sprayed a little bit too much on the life side because I was worried that my hair was getting more dry before I started and I wanted to be fair. Um, just based on the sprays alone, I think it justifies the extra like 15 seconds that the life fund took to dry my hair. I know that's not the most scientific but honestly it's so difficult to tell because they're very 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 similar. Judging the hair smoothing effect, first of all, I barely see a difference. Both did a damn good job but if I really had to nitpick and if I had to choose a side, this side which is the life fund side because it looks like it has a little bit more body, a little bit more shape and a little bit more airiness and it does look pretty damn smooth. In comparison, I think the Dream did a really great job but it does leave my hair stick straight and a little bit more frizzy than the other side. Seeing the footage now and seeing that I spray a little bit more water on this side, I truly think that they are pretty much on equal terms, they are very, very comparable and you couldn't go wrong with either of these hair dryers. There are some key differences between the two that I feel like if you have a strong personal preference, you would choose one over the other. Like some people might prefer this look of the dream being a little bit more luxe, a little bit more kind of like shiny. If you prefer a more ergonomic feel, if you like those attachments, you want to have them, then that would be a reason to consider the dream hair glory. For me, I really like the Blue. I like the light display. I think it's really, I don't know why I'm so tickled by it. I just like it. I think it was like a surprise. I didn't know that it would light up. And I also noticed that the life one actually starts up a little bit faster than the dream as noted in my first impressions. Yup. Right? Yep. The life one starts slightly faster. Hi, editing Brenda here. Also wanted to point out that based on the results shown, I've also found that the lack of attachments doesn't really matter since as you can see, my hair looks smoother anyway. So the compact size and the minimalist approach is actually a plus for me too. They're extremely comparable. They even look very similar. And so I feel like the only determining factor for me personally would be the price. So between this two, the Dream Hair Glory comes with the one smoothing attachment and that is $229. The Life and Swift SE is one six nine before my discount. Lifen is knocking $20 off, which means that this hairdryer is going for $149. That's an $80 difference. So 
to me, life and wins. <laughs> Just because the value for money is insane. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you found it helpful. Like I said, these are two really, really great hair dryers and you can't go wrong with either one. Thank you so much for watching and if you want me to review anything else, please let me know down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make videos maybe once every two weeks. I'm like trying to scale back. Your girl's getting busy, okay? So you can also find and follow me on TikTok and Instagram and also keep your notifications on. And I'll see you guys next next week <laughs> bye